Herbert Cohn can still remember the horrors of November 9, 1938. I was there when the Nazi stormtrooper came to our home and took my father away. He was taken to Buchenwald concentration camp. My mother immediately said, if our father ever returned, we must get him out of the country right away. Speaking at the opening of a new exhibit, Visa for Life, at the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Site, Mr. Cohn, an Atlantan, explained how a British mother, diplomat saved his family from the Holocaust by giving them followed. visas to leave Germany. Certainly this consul saved our lives. I have since then learned that the English consul's office in Frankfurt not only saved my family, but through their courage and perseverance, helped thousands of Jews escape Germany by offering special visas to England until their visas to the United States had been cleared. Yes, this consul saved my life, so I can talk about it now, years later. He was not a bystander. He was one of the righteous ones, the ones that are honored at Yad Vashem, the memorial in Jerusalem for the six million murdered Jews. He was one of the diplomats who rescued Jews, which what this exhibit is all about. The exhibit tells the story of diplomats from a wide range of countries, including China, Japan, the United States, and Sweden, who helped Jews escape Nazi persecution. Uh, this exhibit make me, and I think it should make all of us, the diplomats in this room, very proud. Uh, the people that we are celebrating here uh, tonight are people who, uh, it's not just the act of stamping visas in, in some people's uh, uh, passport. It's doing that knowing that by stamping that visa you are saving that person and his family. But it's doing that and knowing that by doing that you are risking yourself and your own family. Uh, many of these consuls that you will read their stories inside this room tonight uh, were fired from their jobs, some of them were arrested, some of them were killed, some of them were, uh, uh, even their homes were taken and they were thrown in the street uh, because they defied their governments. The exhibit should serve as a lesson, said Herbert Cohn. We all should make a pledge now not to be bystanders, but to stand up and to prevent crimes against humanity and to fulfill our obligation to make this a better world so that all of that will never happen again.